Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, to say that I'm overwhelmed is an understatement. I only uh, wish that my mom was here because my mama was a mom, well, she was a sole person that put me where I am today. Of course, my daddy too, but my mom was extra special. And I have my brother here, and I wish my brother who also died was here. But I am so honored and humbled today that you thought enough that you would give us a victory on December 11th. Thank you very much, Laredo. Thank you very much, and God bless you. <laughs> you can tell that I'm an emotional, I'm an emotional guy, but I have a heart. That's who I am. I'm just a simple guy that cares a lot about people cares a lot about the city. So today's oath of office ceremony marks a new beginning. And to the people of Laredo, I say thank you, mil gracias, and I pledge to you that it is with great enthusiasm that I look forward to serving you as mayor for the next four years. First and foremost, I thank God for giving me this opportunity to serve you, the wonderful citizens of Laredo. You know, as elected officials, we sometimes lose our identities at home. Thankfully, our families understand and are supportive of our efforts. They're most effective by our public service. I would like to publicly thank my wife, understanding and having to put up with me because I'm away from home a lot. Yolanda, thank you. Thank you. I would like to thank my children, my grandchildren, my family for all their support. I hope you understand that while I'm away, I'm just trying to make life better especially for the people of Laredo and others. To my colleagues in the city council, the city managers, the staff, the city employees, and those especially, those folks that have to get up really early in the morning to pick up your trash, to fix your streets, I hold a very special place in the heart. I look forward to working with you individually and collectively to move Laredo forward. We stand before you, my family and I, humble by the great honor that the people of Laredo bestowed upon me. I am also very proud of what we have achieved together as a city in the last four years. I am honored and privileged to be here today to take my solemn oath of office and begin my second term. Laredo, thank you for your vote of confidence in me and my administration. Your support is an affirmation of our city team, the work that has been done, and acknowledgement that Laredo is headed in the right direction. Four years ago, who would think that I'm improvising? Yeah, that's right, my good friend. That's loco. What are you thinking? You don't have a chance. You don't have any looks. <laughs> that was cold. That was very cold, Les. That was cold. You don't have any money. And you've never been in politics. 
Yes, Les, I proved you wrong. But it was because my heart is always with the people, and the mayor's office belongs to the people of Laredo and will always be. I had the confidence that our plans could improve our city and make it even better. I feel the same way tonight. I renew my pledge and commitment to seek to make the good even better. Even in the toughest of economic times since the Great Depression, our city's bond rating continues to be strong, but we must do more. We must find ways to save money. We will continue to advocate to ensure that we get our fair share of funding to serve the citizens of Laredo. We are blessed with our state legislators, Senator Safarini, Representative Richard Raymond Pena, and Representative Ryan Guillen, who did diligently fight for all of us Laredoans. In the same way, Laredo is really, really blessed to have our native son, Congressman Henry Guerra, in Washington, D.C. I, I, th I thought I worked hard, but man, he has so many counties, and he's everywhere too. But of course, I'm a little older, you know, so he's got more energy. But we are so fortunate, so fortunate to have him as a congressman, and he's certainly a great leader and somebody that's getting the job done. Congressman, I publicly thank you for standing for the city of Laredo. <laughs> My fellow Laredoans, our goal has been and will continue to be laying a foundation, a solid foundation, based on building blocks of public safety, specifically border security, economic development, infrastructure, international trade, public health, and the environment. We are building that foundation. And friends, FBI statistics, not mine, my former agency, show that homicides are at the lowest rate since 2006 in the great city of Laredo. Violent crimes have declined since 2007. Car thefts are at their lowest rate in the past three years. Today, my friends, it is about the future of Laredo and how together, and I emphasize together, we can build on what we have accomplished and how we can truly achieve the potential of a great city. We must work for more and better paying jobs. Be more business friendly and business proactive. We must fight for safer streets, supporting our local police. Promote Laredo's image as the beautiful and historic city that it is. We must tear down walls and build bridges of friendships and get things done.